this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is by far one of the best looking armors in the game. At the same time, one of the most godliest, the beastiest armors that you can ever get in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, or at least as far as what I have seen in the game so far. And uh, I'm always ready to explore, try and see if I can find more armors, more things for you guys to showcase. All right, lads, so the first location is right around here. So it's all the way up to the north near Northumbria. And here you're going to be seeing the Temple of Brigantia. So all you have to do is come down here, get out of your boat. So now make sure that you guys are going all the way towards the other side of the statues. So this was the location you need to jump right in here, facing the ass of this woman. And that's uh, where you're going to be finding the underground entrance. So here you'll just have to keep swimming all the way down below and then you're gonna be seeing one of these entrances underground entrances so keep swimming and make sure that you're not wasting a lot of your breath because breath is something that might put you at ease and here you're gonna be finding your chest make sure you grab it and then swim back again just make sure that you guys are not losing your breath because uh it's gonna be very punishing if you do so so the second gear piece you're gonna be finding it all the way right here in glowy chester schreier so this is where you're gonna be finding that one so you're gonna be seeing uh, multiple cave entrances here so this is gonna be the place so once you're here once you arrive to this location and um, just make sure that you're scanning around and then you'll actually find out that there is this one fat dude here who actually holds the key uh, to the door that you need to unlock in order to get that um, item in the chest. I would suggest you guys to actually have the assassination ability. So if you have one of those abilities unlocked in the game, you can basically assassinate these characters uh, without really having to take them on in a fight because these guys are higher level and it is going to be pain in the ass if you try to assassinate them. But there we go. Boom. That is, the, that is a stealth assassination right there. And... You can oh you just kicked your own pig feller okay since i'm higher level i can i can mess around with these people but you guys make sure that you're not doing that stuff because you're going to be instantly dead with one shot so that's uh, that's not a very good sign so now that i've killed this dude I, I will be able to collect the keys from him and there we go so that's it i've collected the keys and now i will have to go unlock the doors to which the treasure is going to be unlocked. So you need to go all the way down here, get down here, and somewhere around here, you're gonna be seeing a door. And Jesus, it's so dark in here, I can't see shit. Let me just throw this right there. All right, you're going to sleep, sir. All right, so once you're here, you're gonna be seeing one of these doors. Make sure that you unlock that and walk right in. And right there, your treasure is going to be sitting in here. Just go ahead, open it. And there you're going to be finding the things breaches, which is basically the boots. So let me just show you guys the boots on the inventory so you can take a fine look at it. Um, there we go, lads. So that is the things boots that you're going to be finding in this location so that is number two a lot of you guys have been also been asking me on how i actually got one of these capes that i'm wearing because this was uh the one that was shown in the trailers a lot of you guys have been asking me ever since i posted one of the screenshots and how do i get this cape which i will explain on another video because i just want to focus this one for this particular version so keep an eye out for that video. So for now, this is how you're going to be getting the Thane's outfit right here. All right, now for the third location, you will have to travel all the way down here to the northern side of Northumbria. And here you're going to be finding a really, really huge ass camp called a Stenweg camp. And in this camp is going to be your next gear piece. So all you have to do is come down here. I'm just going to show you guys the way how I came in here. So just walk past here through these woods and you're going to be finding one of these openings. So just make sure that you're getting into this location and, and walk straight up here into this ladder. And in one of these huts or one of these buildings, you're going to be finding that piece that you're looking for. So here you're going to be finding your next gear piece in one of these houses. So just go in there and open up one of these uh, loot boxes. 
and that's pretty much it the thing's braces is going to be yours now i have completed the story of the game like the main story of the game which is why this location is not hostile now if you guys haven't completed the main story then there's going to be a lot of guards a lot of uh, bad guys in this location so you will have to sneak your way through um the camp and so in this location you're going to be finding the bracelets for the thing's outfit so let me just show you guys how the bracelet looks I'm going to put that on and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how the bracelet for the Tang's outfit is going to look like. All right, so the next location is all the way right here in Winchester. So you need to go all the way right here in Winchester and in one of these biggest cities, you are going to be finding your chest piece right over here in the Bishop's Temple of Mitaris. So uh, as you can see, that is going to be the location straight up ahead. So you'll just have to jump right in. So I'm just I'm just showing you guys. Oh, my God. I don't know if I'm going to survive that. And I did. OK, with some God's luck. Now, this place is going to be heavily guarded with a lot of brutal guards. So you need to be very careful in order to enter these locations. So uh, just make sure that you're covering yourself up with some of these monks. So that is how you're going to be able to uh, enter this location. Try and be stealthy, OK? Stealth is the key to success here because these guards are extremely high levels. I believe there are probably around 350 power level. So um, it's, it's going to be hard if you guys are not really high in level to take these guys out. All right. So once you're here in this location, as you can see, I've slaughtered a lot of people in here. So you guys want to try and stay as stealthy as possible. So this is the church that you guys are supposed to enter. And this is where the... Um, the piece of your gear is going to be located so now make sure that you guys have entered in this location and you are supposed to go up here so just make sure that you're climbing up here and one of these doors uh where's this door yeah just break this one and then go in there oh my god i can't see anything okay just go in there and try to move this object because you will have to pass through that the little place there in order to unlock one of these uh one of the other doors in which your loot is going to be present so just shoot that thing down so just go ahead collect that one open the door up and inside here you're going to be finding your treasure that you came for and here is the tang's cloak and that ladies and gentlemen is the tang's cloak right there and <laughs> look how goddamn beautiful that looks jesus i already love it i already love it and if i remove the cloak oh no 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 i did not mean to whistle at all so if i remove the cloak so this is uh basically oh shit <laughs> there's a lot of items on my back just want to make sure that i'm removing those so you can see how it looks so this is how the cloak is gonna look and i've got to say though it kind of gives you that templar kind of look um like one of the high ones in the templars of course so this is how you're gonna be getting your cloak and now for the final destination all right so the next location is right next to your last location right here in winchester near the old minister tower so this is uh one of the synchronization points which you will basically have to get to so in order to get this final piece of gear you will actually need two different keys which uh, i have already collected when i was playing the main story missions so i'm just going to take you guys through the steps on how you can get these so make sure that you guys are climbing up this particular tower right here exactly as what i'm doing and um all right so let's just go up here and just break this box and then you're going to be finding uh okay not this side <laughs> i'm sorry so you'll have to go to the other side somewhere here you're going to be finding an opening this one i believe uh, not even this one okay i believe this right here all right there we go oh this one so right here you're going to be finding an opening once you break those boxes and right up here there will be your first key so you will have to collect your first key right here in order to get the um, chest piece so once you've collected that make sure you just jump and jump out um also now i have um the perk which kind of like reduces my fall damage that's the reason i'm kind of like jumping around but if you don't really have those uh make sure that you're not jumping around now um after you jumped here make sure you get inside the church and the second key you're going to be finding the second key uh somewhere around here so i believe you'll have to come all the way around here and in here okay so this is the place so you'll have to come across this room right here 
and inside you're going to be finding the second key now like i said i've already played the story mode uh in which i've already grabbed one of these keys so once you grab that key so you're going to be having both the keys in order to unlock the room in which you're going to be finding this chest all right now once you've collected the second key you will actually have to run all the way up here just make sure you're getting all the way towards the rooftop just keep running over here and you need to get to the back of the church to this location oops uh, i'm sorry not this this location you need to go the other side and then you'll find another staircase just keep running around and jump over here jump over there again jump and another jump and here you're gonna be finding another key so this is going to be um the location where you will find another key and uh, once again like i said uh, i have already completed the story due to which i have uh, already collected all of these keys all right so now that you have collected all the three keys that you basically need to unlock this place to shoot this window down make sure that you're jumping jumping through um all right, so once you're here in this uh, courtyard kind of a thing, uh, make sure that you guys are breaking the window right about this door. So this is going to be the window in which your treasure is going to be located, which is, of course, the, uh, the headgear. So I'm going to jump in here and boom. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Do -do 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 -do. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you're going to be finding the Thane's um, helmet. So let me just go ahead and put that on and show you guys how that basically looks. And there we go. So that is a complete set of how your Thane's outfit is going to look in the game. All right, so now that we have all the five gear piece in order to complete the Thane's outfit, this is how the outfit is going to look like. And I've got to say though, man, the red and the uh, silver accent is actually giving me a lot of uh, Templar's vibe, the Order of the Ancient. And um, the helmet looks by far one of the best ones that I have ever seen in terms of cosmetic items in the game. And I've got to say, though, that this might actually end up being one of my most favorite outfits in the game so far. So I'm going to go ahead and try to upgrade the uh, outfit to the max uh, appearance as I possibly can. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is how... The finally upgraded version of your Thanks outfit is going to look like, and my god, Avor looks like a goddamn monster ready to slay some people. Like, let me just walk into the sun to show you guys how this armor basically looks, and Jesus Christ, that looks absolutely stunning. Now, it kind of removes that uh, red and silver accent and gives you more of like a royal blue as well as the golden accent. And uh, it looks absolutely gorgeous, man. Now, let me just go ahead and turn the cape on to show you guys how this looks. And Jesus Christ. And wow. 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 The back of the cape is just gorgeous. Holy crap. So this, I think, is by far one of my most favorite outfits in the game so far. The Tang's outfit, ladies and gentlemen. So this is how you're going to be getting this. And uh, let me just go ahead and show you guys all the perks of this outfit, what it does, and what are the bonus for this one. So as you can see right here, it basically shows that the first perk that you're going to be getting with this armor is the increase in critical chance of pairing enemies. So anytime you parry any enemies, it's going to increase the chances of critical hit, with, uh, which once again gives you more additional bonus in terms of attack. So losing it, so you're also going to be losing it when attacking from the back or attacking an enemy on the ground okay so that is how you're gonna lose that perk as well so there is a buff as well as uh, a nerf here so that's a good thing i guess so that it doesn't stay overpowered or something now the bonus is what makes this one uh, very very special so this one this armor is extremely beefy if you ask me though the bonus here is plus 10 additional increase to the critical hit damage so that itself is a big big win in my dairies here and then you're also going to be getting a plus 20 bonus critical damage once again so this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is is by far one of the best looking armors in the game. At the same time, 
one of the most godliest, the beastiest armors that you can ever get in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, or at least as far as what I have seen in the game so far. And uh, I'm always ready to explore, try and see if I can find more armors, more things for you guys to showcase. And uh, I have actually found out that this armor is by far one of the best ones in terms of damage and also in terms of looks. Kind of like pick a fight with multiple enemies. So that's how we can actually test out the full potential of this armor. So come on, boys. Follow me all the way in here. So this is going to be our battle zone. All right. Boom. Oh, God. Just remember that these enemies are actually level... 350, by the way. Oh my god. The slaughter, dude. The amount of damage, the amount of crit hits that I'm getting on this armor is crazy. And I can easily, as easily, just stun these guys. So, I have never done so much damage on one of these elite, elite dudes. Now, especially, you can also use this armor uh, even if you're low level. So that is one of the best things about this armor set. No matter what level you are, you can actually get one of these armors. Okay, come here, fat dude. You are coming with me. Okay, <laughs> not the fat dude. Okay, that one's good as well. Oh my god, this thing is a beast. This thing is a beast, fellas. Okay, let me see what I can basically do. The amount of damage this thing does is insane. The amount of crit hit this thing gives you is insane. And also you're getting 20% bonus crit hit damage as well as 20% bonus damage. So that's like, that's like insane amount of, insane amount of powers level there. And I'm just slaughtering the uh, dudes with 350 level like they're nothing. Look at that. So these guys are 350 levels. And I barely even notice anything. At all. Oh god. Oh god. My shot just went through that dude's shield. And that is exactly what I'm looking for in terms of the best armors in the game. So ladies and gentlemen, this right here is the beast and the most godliest armors that you definitely want to be getting in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys did get this armor, if this video was helpful. And if it was, then a like would be really appreciated if you guys could just go ahead and leave a like. And also, if you guys are looking for a YouTube channel, a YouTuber who covers all the Assassin's Creed Valhalla topics, tips and tricks, guides, gameplays, let's plays, and all that kind of stuff, everything you need about this game, then make sure to go ahead, subscribe to the channel, turn that little bell notification on, so you guys don't miss out on my daily uploads, which I do every single day. With that being said, I hope you guys have a blast of day, and I'll see you guys on tomorrow's video. Until then, take it easy, fans, and goodbye.